Uh, yeah, we should probably say that this is actually uh, the day that we're talking about this is the day that Putin just backed out of the nuclear treaty. Publicly, which is not good. With Joe Biden going to yes. Kiev and pledging his undying love to, and I'm going to say this, which is very painful. I think Zelensky is a complete menace. Why do you think that? He's romantic. He's telegenic. He's brave. Uh, we can talk about whether he got set up in a coup or you know who he really is. He was an actor, et cetera, et cetera. But at some point, I think I heard him. I had to go back to like the Russian and Ukrainian speeches in order to try to. I don't speak much Russian. I don't speak any Ukrainian, but they're closely related languages. And he calls for like pre preventivni udari, like preventative strikes. I'm like, huh? You know, this is a while. This is a while ago. And I thought, why is this person allowed to address Congress? You have somebody who. And, and I want to be very clear about this. Um, I really find it disgusting what Vladimir Putin did uh, invading Ukraine. But if you look historically at the killing and the borders of Eastern and Central Europe, they have gone back and forth like nobody's business. When you ask somebody like me, uh, an American Ashkenazi Jew, where did your family come from? You always get the same weird response. It's like, oh, it was a part of Belarusia that went back and forth between Poland, Ukraine, Moldova, mm. you know, Lithuania, because it's fluid, right? And so when we say, you know, we, we, we respect the territorial integrity of Ukraine, we were fighting right now in Lvov, like the Ukrainians were fighting in Lvov, eight seconds by hypersonic missile from Article 5 territory since 1999 in Poland. And I realized how crazy we got. Um, I was in Providence, Rhode Island with my son, and I get this alert on my phone, and it says, two people are dead in Poland uh, w with a presumptive strike by a Russian missile. I'm thinking, did, did I read two Polish people dead in an Article 5 full NATO member since 1999? with a Russian missile, because I knew we were fighting way too close to this border. Now, by the way, if I say Lvov, everyone's gonna correct me and say, no, no, Eric, it's Lviv. It's like, no, these, spit, these cities all have multiple pronunciations. I, I always thought of Lvov was a Polish city, not a Ukrainian city. And ironically, I believe Lvov is the birthplace of Stanislaw Ulam, who came up with the Teller Ulam thermonuclear design. So we're talking about some of the world's smartest people on some of the world's bloodiest, most disgusting, most beautiful land, you know? I, have, you, have you ever been to Ukraine? No. So my family basically is scattered, you know, was scattered throughout the shtetls of Ukraine. And I've been over there in, eight, in 89. We Americans do not understand Central and Eastern Europe, period, the end. And for us to be making these commitments and not understanding how Russians think and how Ukrainians think and how Poles think and how the fighting works. I don't think we know what we're doing. I think we're creating a doomsday machine. And I, the reason that we, you know, it's not like Zelensky isn't wronged by Putin. It's not like um, he's not charismatic. He has one of the greatest Bruce Willis lines of all time. When we asked to evacuate him, he says, I need ammunition, not a ride. You know, that thing yeah. makes us, yeah, yeah. I want that. Right. And then there's like house to house fighting, the way all the World War II enthusiasts think. They, they tend not to think about Nagasaki and Hiroshima. They like the, the tactical stuff with all the, you know, which bridge got, got taken out over which river and how did we do this and that. So it's very romantic to people who are like World War II addicts. We do not realize how deep the trouble we're courting is. And I don't think we realize how dangerous it is if we are going to every time there's a border dispute go to a thermonuclear stand you know standoff it's just russian roulette with smaller and smaller numbers of empty chambers and i don't know what this is i don't know whether we have 30 years to play this game or three or three months but i learned that day last year in 2022 um nobody around me in providence rhode island was reacting 
Everybody's just going about. It was like a normal day. It's like, I'm, I'm increasingly, Joe, believing that I am sane and that the world is crazy. And normally I take that as a cue that maybe I need to get some sleep. No, I think we're actually just going crazy. I think that those of us who actually get how risky this is need to speak up because it's not fun. The entire apparatus will tell you that you're soft on Putin and you're an appeasing Chamberlain uh, wannabe. And it's like bullshit. Right now, you don't realize in 2004, we let Latvia and Lithuania into NATO membership. And I remember thinking at the time, what the hell are we doing? It's not like I don't understand that we want to protect them. It's not like I don't understand that you want to say that they're independent nations. But these were former Soviet republics. And there's two ways of thinking about it. You can put on one set of glasses and say, well, these are nations that get to decide what they want and who's to tell them what to do. And then there's another thing called spheres of influence, where it's like, that's the Russian sphere of influence. If you are not playing with both of these sets of lenses, you're not playing the game. And the number of people who just have one set of these glasses on, right? They're only seeing the infrared or they're only seeing the ultraviolet. It's like, no, you, you need to oscillate back and forth and understand what you're doing. So I think, I think Zelensky, and I'm scared to say this because I know I'm going to get just nothing but hate. We created a situation by pretending that we didn't understand the spheres of influence glasses. We very well understand the sovereignty glasses. And we are now creating a doomsday machine that we do not understand. And the world is going to go multipolar, and we don't have the skill to play this game, period.